my god, my hand is just covered in lip gloss. Okay, hang on. I'll be right back. That's not it. Okay, dokie. Now that I'm out of that sticky situation, <laughs> let's get started on the topic of today's video. And what we're going to be doing today is an H&M try on haul and review. We all know H&M, okay? It's a Swedish brand, big boy, have some other stores. I think Cos and and other stories are both under the whom umbrella. And some of the content I've been really enjoying doing is testing out some of our old faithfuls or probably more accurately, the clothing stores that had a choke hold on me when I was 15 from Block. And you know what? They have some cute stuff. Website is more functional than Zara's for sure. So today we're gonna put it to the test. But before I get into the hmm of it all, I wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Karma. Karma is a mobile app and a Chrome extension tool, and it ensures that you're never missing a coupon, never missing a price drop, and always getting the best deal on all the things you love. Black Friday is fast approaching. Time goes by so fast, it's a little concerning. When do Black Friday sales even start anymore? Because they're already on now, and it's early November. In previous years, when I have had an item on my wish list that I have every intention of purchasing, okay, I've had my little eye on it for a while, I'm really excited about it, but I'm being a good look consumer and waiting until Black Friday to get the best possible deal. And then they have a pre-Black Friday sale or a pre-pre-Black Friday sale and all the stock goes and then I miss it. And that's not happening this year, okay? No, no tricksy pre-pre-Black Friday sneaky dates for me. Karma is helping me be prepped and primed and ready so I can grab the best deal possible on all my faves. So let's do a quick walkthrough so you can be set up for Black Friday success or just general saving goodness. So on your computer, you're gonna to wanna to go to the Karma website and download the Google Chrome extension for Karma. Then once you're all locked and loaded, just head to any of your favorite websites. And when you find an item that you're keen on, you can click on that convenient little blue button there and save it to Karma. Then if anything exciting happens, like the item goes on sale or there's a relevant coupon or it comes back in stock, it'll send a push notification to the Karma app or to your email. And now I will share my personal karma lists. <laughs> you can enjoy my sorting system. As you can see, I have my beauty BB list for all of my makeup, skincare, fragrance things that I have saved. I have casual BB for kind of everyday, sort of low key clothing. I have bougie BB, which is some of the more expensive or luxury items that I might have my eye on. Feety BB, which is shoes. <laughs> and then we have homey BB, which is basically all things to do with my apartment. It can scan the internet for coupon codes when you're shopping online and find you the best discount. And this is a desktop only feature so I would highly recommend jumping on your laptop or your computer to make sure you're getting the best deal possible and download the Chrome extension. Karma also has Karma gifts on selected retail partners which gives you a little bit of cheeky cash back but also gives to a good cause as well. So now you've essentially got my mini tutorial on how I'm going to be saving money and staying organized for all my Black Friday shopping. You can download Karma's free extension by using my link, which is also going to be in the description below. Thank you again to Karma for sponsoring this video. Alrighty, let's just jump into hmm, shall we? Because it's been a hot minute <laughs> since I've tried H&M. You know what? I do have fond memories of shopping at H&M when I was a teenager and I found a lot of really cute stuff but not a lot of stuff that I think has really stood the test of time, which is fair, you know, style changes from when you're a teenager to an adult, but also the quality, very hit and miss. I found a couple of pieces from an H&M, but I, I just feel like they're diamonds in the rough, you know what I mean? I have this pink suit that has been really great for when I need a suit or if I wanna do an Elle Woods costume for whatever reason. And I also have this dress, which I found was really good for corporate because it's really nice in summer because it's light and breezy. It's not the most exciting piece, but it's practical. And that kind of sums up sort of my thoughts about H&M. I wouldn't say that they're the most exciting brand to me, but sometimes I'm surprised. So I'm hoping I'm gonna be surprised, please. I feel like my favorite part of H&M is just the homeware section. It's not really about whether or not it fits you, it's, you know, is, is the blanket soft and will it be cute on the couch? So today I will be the metaphorical couch for the H&M clothes. And I think we should just get straight into it. All right, let's start with this two piece at the front. I'm gonna go pop it on and I will be right back. All righty, so I am wearing the oversized cotton shirt, which is $27.99 and the short tie detail skirt which is $29.99. And this one is a size small and this one is a size 10. So I picked this one because I thought that the two piece set on the model on the website looked quite cute. And you know what? It is delivering something. I think what it's delivering to me is sort of, you know, mummy blogger from the Midwest. I don't know, I feel like I'm about to teach you how to hide some vegetables and some meatballs or something. <laughs> In terms of sizing, when I was putting this shirt on, I was like, this is too big, but I suppose it's meant to be oversized and I did get it in the small, so um, good, I guess. And the skirt is quite tight on my hips. I'm used to that. There's not really any stretch in it either, so 
I'm used to that. But I don't think it looks bad. It's just sort of slightly different fit to me than it is on the model, but we expected that. I'm pleasantly surprised by the softness, especially of the top. It's a really nice, light, breathable cotton. The skirt is a little firmer. It's a little bit of a thicker cotton, but again, cotton nice and breathable it's a very enjoyable experience sometimes when you buy you know the more affordable options the cotton can be quite scratchy uh quite coarse but this is quite a nice like soft breathable cotton it feels genuinely very light so i really like the top the skirt i'm not as jazzed about it feels a little bit thicker a little bit more claustrophobic which in sweaty summer season not the favorite but the thing is right i like the top i'm actually pleasantly and overly surprised by how much I enjoy the top. Would I wear the top on its own? Probably not, no. Just being realistic. It's a cute top. And you can see why I picked the outfit because together it kind of does give the preppy vibe that I like. You know, imagine there's this little white hairband, little white booties or sling back, something like that. It, that gives the energy. Whereas if I just keep the top, you know, cause the skirt, it's not really giving me the ooh sensation. If I just keep the top, it's giving hoe down, throw down. But if you're not quite as hippie as me, then this actually could be quite a good two piece. I'm pleasantly surprised. We're starting this on a positive note. It can only go down from here. <laughs> I really went through the website for hours because there's a lot of stuff on there. <laughs> okay, it's a big website. They're a big company. They got a lot of clothes. So I really tried to find some of the cutest pieces. So let's try it. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. Alrighty, I guess we're trying this combination then. Alrighty, here is the next outfit. We have the puff sleeve blouse, which is $24.99 and I got it in the size medium. And the sleeve skirt, which was $34.99 and I got it in the size medium. Let's start with the top because I want to say initially as I was putting this on, my first impression, I felt a bit meh. But now that I have it on, I actually think I like it a lot more than I thought I would. First of all, it's 100% cotton, which we'd love to see that. I really enjoy natural fiber, so that is nice. And again, breathable coming into some months. As I was putting on, I thought I should have maybe bought a small because I am usually a small in tops, but with h and I'm just not sure. Their sizing is kind of all over the joint. It's very different from item to item. I do think a small would be a good fit because it is quite like loose here where I think it's meant to be quite fitted on this part, but it's very comfortable. And I feel like because it's sort of really puffy and there is sort of that over dramatic sleeve it would really help to sort of balance out my figure if that makes sense and that's not me nagging myself in any type of way but sometimes for my body shape in order to sort of emphasize my figure adding a little bit of drama and volume up top to kind of match the biological drama and volume of my hips although potentially with the small although i might go into store to check it out the small might not have as much drama on the sleeves and so it wouldn't kind of have as cool of an effect you know what i'm saying and actually the armbands sometimes with these elasticated armbands with the puppy sleeves they're really uncomfortable kind of like that meme where katy perry is grabbing <laughs> that girl <laughs> it's one of my favorite memes it's so funny but this is actually like a comfortable level of elastic which you know what you know fashion is great but you know for daily living lucy dot living comfort tends to be my priority and it's just this kind of thing that you know, it's a nice piece to have in your wardrobe, a bit of a staple if you're into princess core or sort of more cottage core fairy type of styles. This kind of thing is a staple. And you know, 100% cotton, really affordable, and I think really flattering. I'm really happy with that. The skirt I'm less happy with. Um, essentially, it's one of these elastic band buddies. This is probably on me. I should have sized down, but I just do find that these elastic skirts, it's really hard to tell because this material here, not stretchy but this is really, really stretchy. So um, if I size down, it would maybe not look so great, but this size is really slipping down my waist. It's like, yeah. But that is some really good stretch. It's very comfy. And you know, I picked it because we like a silky satiny moment. I thought it'd be really cute for those of you who are looking into getting some cute sort of corporate wear. However, I am trying to be a professional YouTuber and I did give everything a brief steam and this, was Crinkle City. Seriously, it was really bad. And if you're anything like me, uh, I have a degree of laziness, which unless a piece is super exceptional and sort of more of a going out occasion wear piece, I don't like ironing. I feel like ironing should potentially be abolished. That's just my thoughts. I just hate it. <laughs> it's one of my least favorite household tasks. I will do anything for love, but I won't do that. And so while it looks really good in the picture on the website, and I think it looks pretty nice here, 
Um, it's still really crinkly and I steamed it for a solid few minutes, okay? I was really getting in there with my little buddy. So I can't really recommend it because of that, because unless you love ironing, you will hate this. <laughs> That's these two and I think it's time to move on. What should we move on to? Shall we do the jeans? Let's just get them over with. I'm not, I'm not excited for this. Okay, I'm legitimately shocked that these fit, but they do, so. Let's talk about them. So these are H&M's wide high jeans. They are $49.99. They look like this on the model. They don't look like that on me. That is fine. I could see that was coming. But I was looking through the H&M website because jeans is something that I wear a lot. And I actually do think I did have a pair of jeans from H&M, but I think they were in the skinny jean era with a lot of stretch. Um, and they were still not very good. But I thought that maybe this super wide, you know, jeans would fit me. Um, I would say it was a hostile situation or perhaps a hostage situation. I, my body did not get in these without a fight. I'll say that. I don't think they look horrendous, but they don't look very good. They're also not very comfortable. They're not made to fit me. And to be honest, not really most standard sizing clothes are made to fit you. I actually just watched this really great video by Mina Lee. You can watch her video. Uh, it's, it's very informative and very interesting about how standard sizings have changed over time. But essentially, I'm not really in the business of beating myself up too much if, you know, a size that is my size doesn't fit me because every brand has a different perception or version of what that size is. So I got these in a size 10 and you know, there is room at the back and on the waist and it's really not doing a lot for my figure. I don't I, like, I, I, I don't think they look as bad as I thought they were going to. I did actually try these on initially when the order came and I couldn't get them to zip up. So at that point I was basically thinking, you know, these are horrendous, but now that I can get them to zip up and actually on, yeah, I don't, I still don't like them. I think the actual fit on my legs, even though it's not how it fits on the models, it's not a baggy pair of jeans on me because I just fill out the baggy part at the top. It does have that kind of straight leg look that I look for in a lot of jeans, but it doesn't cinch in and sit right at the top part. So the flatteringness of that look that I'm looking for isn't quite there. So permission to move on please because I'm not really interested in talking about it too much more because I have jeans that I really love and honestly I'm kind of at the point where I have just fully accepted the reality that bar a couple of brands like I, I'm very curious about Fashion Nova. I have mixed feelings but I'm very curious about it so if you want me to try Fashion Nova let me know because I know that their jeans are designed for kind of a curvier body although the models on the website look unreal. But in general I've pretty much just resigned myself to the fact that if it's not a brand that specifically caters to my body shape specifically I'm probably gonna have to get a tailored or it's not gonna work out and that's fine. And I'm kind of fine with that because nothing beats the feeling of perfectly fitted pants. It's a very nice feeling. <laughs> Actually let's talk about the top because I swapped it over because I wanted to make sure you could kind of see the top part of the jeans because the white shirt giving me the princess fantasy but it wasn't letting you see the details. This is $14.99 and I got this in a size medium as well. I think I got everything in a medium or a size 10. I got everything in a medium or a size 10 except for the oversized shirt, which I got in a small, which I think was the correct decision. I mean, $14.99 for this crop top, it's giving me kind of Lizzie McGuire, Kim Possible, cartoon character default top. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's not really anything special. But you know, it's cotton, it's comfy. Um, I think it's quite flattering, it suits me and I don't really have any lilac tops for spring summer. So pretty tempting. It's just easy, it's breezy. These jeans do not make me feel beautiful. Okay, alrighty, I'm gonna remove the torch pants and we're gonna get into some of the skirts to match with this top. Alrighty, here we have an A-line skirt. I got it in a size 10 and it was $14.99. So, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I don't really have any major thoughts about it. I like the cut of the A-line. Um, again, it's, it's a little loose, but I think more in a comfortable sort of way because it has a little tiny bit of stretch to it rather than the other longer skirt where it was loose in a way that it was sort of falling down in an annoying way. Pattern of the item is cute, you know, little daisies. I'm into it. I think it looks like the one on the website. I'm not disappointed. I'm not really moved to any major kind of emotion of any kind. I really, I don't have anything to say at all. It's cute, it's, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> all right, here's this pleated skirt and I thought I'd start talking while I'm still putting on because it's actually a wrap skirt. 
somewhere. Where is it? Here. It's actually a wrap skirt. So that's kind of fun because it sort of fits you kind of as well as it can. Sometimes pleated skirts when it comes to sizing can be a little bit difficult depending on the material and how far the pleats go before they flare, if that makes sense. Um, this is in a size 10 and I just... The actual cut and the way the fabric sits is really flattering. I feel like we've talked about it on this channel before, but pleat skirts, if you're into kind of kawaii, Japanese, Korean fashion, or if you're just into preppy sort of fashion, pleated skirts are kind of a staple. But if you're finding that pleated skirts look a little bit awkward on you, like they just create a really boxy shape, it's often because the material is really stiff and the way the pleats are cut. So it starts here and then here is where it flares out. Sometimes on certain pleated skirts, it can start too low down and then just create extra bulk at the widest part of your hips, all that jazz. Because this one is a softer fabric, it kind of just falls down. It doesn't really aggressively pleat outwards, if that makes sense. So if that's something that is an issue for you and you're after a cute baby pink pleated skirt, we may have a solution here. I will say though, because it's a wrap skirt and there's lots of room in the hips, it's nice and soft, I would size according to your waist. I was sort of not sure, I couldn't really tell on the website if it was gonna be a stiff pleated skirt or a soft pleated skirt or what kind of vibe it was gonna be. But because it's a soft one, I would probably size down because I have it on the tightest setting at the moment and I still feel like I could be a little more cinched in for my preference. For $29.99, I think it's a really good option. And I think it's nice to see that a, you know, a brick and mortar or mall shopping center store, I suppose, is kind of stocking some stuff like this. Every now and then Zara and H&M tend to stock a little bit of kind of the trendy, you know, subculture stuff. But I think they're probably trying to pay a bit more attention to the trends, especially of Gen Z and kind of, you know, the younger ages because we all shop online. <laughs> so they have to compete with that and they have to kind of have some new offerings. So I think, I don't know, I think it's interesting because I don't think it's something that they always would have. Maybe I'm wrong. But then again, they do have a Blackpink collab on their website, which I didn't actually pick anything up because it wasn't particularly inspiring. But, you know. But, you know, Agent M's done Blackpink, Billie Eilish, Ariana Grande. I think they're on it. <laughs> I think that's quite cute. A nice staple ender. Yeah, a great find. Alrighty, now we have this V-neck dress, which was $34.99 in a size medium. I like it. I like how it looks. I think it's a really flattering cut. I actually didn't realize that it was um, backless. I didn't register that at all. So practically, probably not something I'd reach for in my wardrobe, but also I like the vibe. I think this was the last thing I added to my cart and I was a little sleep deprived at that point. So that makes sense that I can't really remember the reasoning behind this other than I think I thought the model looked cute. Um, I mean, I do like a long sleeve and I do like a fit and flare. So we're getting the elements I enjoy. I don't really know what occasion I would wear this to because if this had a full covered back, I would say this is workwear appropriate or, you know, my version of workwear appropriate because you can kind of style it up with some cute colors and kind of works with my pastel with a little bit of black and white and gray kind of vibe. But because it's backless, it sort of becomes not that. I think this is just a little outside kind of my style. The way they styled it on the website, the model was wearing docks or, you know, not docks. So I think it's maybe meant for a slightly more you know, goth GF style than perhaps I can pull off. But I don't, I don't hate it at all. This is definitely one of those occasions where, and I am a very picky shopper, where I can acknowledge that I think something looks good. I think it's cute. I don't think it's a bad item at all. It feels very comfy, but I know ultimately I'm not gonna wear it and it's not really my style. But that doesn't mean that it's not your style. I don't know. I think it's cool. That's all. Actually, no, that's not all. I did have to say this little button here at the back, if you live alone, or if you don't have someone to help you get dressed, which is, you know, you should be able to get dressed on your own, that is quite annoying to do if you have nails. Just letting you know. Okay. Okay, this is the Terry dress, which I got in a size medium again. This was $59.99, so one of the more expensive items. And you know what? Just when I hung it up on the rack, I knew I was disappointed. And I feel like I shouldn't have to go on a rampage for this. But look, if you have a semi-decent eye for colors, or if you're like me and you work in marketing slash design, <laughs> I know what the color white is. This is off-white, cream, ivory, whatever you want to call it, but it is not the hex code hashtag FFF, FFF. It's not. And it's not that cream or ivory or off-white isn't a good color. I just, I, I know what colors I prefer, what suit me. I'm a picky shopper. I'm an organized shopper. <laughs> I make targeted attacks. 
on buying items. It's really cute. I love it. I love the Terry kind of vibe at the moment. I know it's a little bit of a trend, but the 90s Y2K Terry trend, especially because I live in a tropical climate, okay? I do occasionally go to the beach. Um, it's rare, but I do it. But when I do do it, I have planned outfits and it's a good time. So I thought this could really fit in my resort wear. I'm a 2000s little princess kind of vibe. Um, but alas, I was looking for a white terry dress and this isn't it. So unfortunately, it's not gonna work out. Can you tell I'm a bit incensed by this? I just feel it happens all the time. And I make every effort to look through the photos and go, yep, that's white. So clearly they color corrected it because this isn't white. You can't tell me this is white. It's almost beige and yellow in some lights. Anyway, anyway, uh, I can't really comment much more on the material. It, it feels it feels fine. I'm not really blown away by it. So even if it was in a true white, I can't say it's something I would hold on to or you know really recommend. But um, it's really hard to get past the fact that it's not the color that it says it was. So we're just gonna have to move on. That's the punishment. We're moving on. I'm not talking about it anymore. Alrighty, and let's cap everything off with this little A-line dress. I got it in a size 10 and it was $29.99. It's fine. I feel like this whole video is just me saying things are fine. No, no, there, there were things that I think were better than fine. This one is quite cute. I don't know if quite, I love the puffs. Like, the puffs are too small. <laughs> I like the bigger puffs, you know, the bigger the better, some would say. The puff sleeves of this one, I just think are more suitable to my preferences. But, you know, we like a bit of the Bottega green. We like gingham. You know, it's got the cute elements. And the cut is actually quite nice. It's a really flattering cut. It's very comfortable. It's not overly tight. It's also not super loose. Um, it's a fun spring, summer, little frolicking dress. We like it. I will say the material is kind of that more synthetic-y feeling, which, you know, it's all fine and well to an extent, but we're starting to open back up here so we can go to pubs and stuff like that. And it's very hot. So, um, this in a crowded, sweaty setting, can't imagine myself doing it, unfortunately. But you know what? Props to what it is. It's a cute little garment. I don't think I have really much else to say because it's a simple garment. To be honest, the majority of these were quite simple pieces, which I think is what H&M's all about. You know, simple, everyday stuff. Some of it is cute. Some of it I find immensely boring. Uh, and this this is the last item, so uh, I think we should just do a quick recap. And all in all, my overall thoughts are... Hmm. I think the, the pleated skirt was really nice. I think that's a really good option if that's something you're on the look for. I would go look for that, because that could be a solution. I really liked the white princess top, and I think I might keep that. That is a um, fun surprise to me. I didn't expect that to be the standout, but I think it might be. Uh, you know, generic character purple top good to have. Useful. That satin skirt, garbage, jeans, I don't want to talk about it. And the blue set was really cute. Maybe if you have a slightly different figure to me. And the cotton was really comfortable. So, recommend that. And there we go. Hmm. Can you tell the entire jokes and premise of this video was just based on me going, hmm. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this H&M review of me kind of testing out some pieces from H&M to see if it's worth the money or not. Let me know down below if there are any other online stores you want me to review and check out for you. I'm happy to be the human gerbil that I am. I do just very quickly want to thank Karma, our sponsor for today again. You can download Karma by going to this link or you can click the link in the description box below. Join me on my organized saving quest <laughs> this Black Friday. I am gonna be so ready. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.